afternoon. Welcome back to One on the Bell Kitchen. Yes. So today I'm going to bake another potato pudding. But this time my aunt's not here. My sister told me I want you to bake a potato pudding just like the potato pudding I see you and Auntie Mavis was making. So I'm about to do so. And I have all my ingredients here. I have my flour, a little cornmeal, my sugar, my potato over here. This is the main ingredient. And also, one of the main ingredients is your coconut. You cannot have potato pudding without coconut. You can also use the tin coconut milk, but, you know, I like organic. And so, as we go along... I'll show you what's going on in one honey bell kitchen. Yes. Blending my coconut. I use warm water to blend it. And um, then I juice it out and mix it and sweeten with sugar and vanilla and other spices like cinnamon, nutmeg. Almond rose water. That's the, this is the liquid I'm making to to mix the pudding to make the pudding the water. The liquid that I'm going to use to make my pudding. This is part of it. Is a coconut. You sweeten the coconut milk. As I say, you can use this coconut milk or any other coconut milk, like tin coconut milk or whatever you have, as long as coconut milk. So let's go. Another power. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. As I told you, I'm making potato pudding. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, and hit that button, that notification button, that bell, so that. Whenever we have a new video, you'll see it. I'm sorry, I said bell. It's, <laughs> I said button, it's the bell. Hit the notification bell. And like our videos and follow us on Instagram. Now, I'm putting some salt in. This is the coconut milk that I blend. And I'm putting all the different things. Now I'm putting vanilla some vanilla in there and because you want your pudding to taste nice so you you try to spice it up as much as you can this is almond just a little bit like you don't want it too much almond taste so I put half a teaspoon and the rose water same thing half a teaspoon you know, there's not set so much of a set measurement for pudding because different potatoes weigh different size, different pans, different, you know, amount of liquid. So, you see the texture of it when you finish. So, I'll show you later what's going on in one honey bell kitchen. So, Durante cut up all of this potato pudding for to make our potato pudding and I'm going to blend them now in the blender here and um, I'll show you as we go along what's going on I finished sweetening my coconut milk and now I'm going to blend my potato doing here I'm blending using the coconut milk to blend the potato and then I'm going to transfer it and show you as we go along. Thank you. So my pudding is almost finished baking. But I told you that I was going to put the liquid with, that I make from the coconut milk, coconut milk on top. So you put it on top like this. And um, try not to let it go around the edges. Try to stay like in the middle, and then I put back this in the oven for another, say, 15 minutes, and then my pudding will be ready. So, see you later. 
So my pudding is finished baking. If you look, um, I put in the Q-tip. There's nothing on it. It's baked. It's ready. And um, this one, why it has so much raisin, is that when it was half baked, I took it out and I put some raisin because most of the time, the raisin will go to the bottom. So for those who like raisin, you know, I put the raisin in when it was half baked. This one I did not, but it tastes just as good. They look so good, so suckling, so nice. Yes, remember friends, remember to subscribe and like to our videos and follow us on Instagram and hit the notification bell on YouTube that you never will miss one of our videos whenever we put them up. Until then, take care of yourself and your family. Bye. Mwah. How are you doing? Welcome back again. You know, last night I was baking my pudding and I, it was hot. I didn't get to cut it. And I just want to show you guys. I just want to tell you how good it is. It's like it, when I eat, when I gave it to my friends and I ate some today, it's like it's melting in your mouth. It tastes amazing. And it's um this one is almost finished. So I just want to show you. Just cut a little part of it and show you how it is. It's so good. It's so nice. And let's try it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is so good. Please subscribe and like and follow us on Instagram to our channel. God bless.